Here we are, setting up for another brew club meeting. Barbecue's clean. I'm just um, getting the missus's, oh, sorry about the sun. Just getting the missus's uh, mop water ready so she can mop the house. No, uh, normally, on a, normally on a brew day, on a brew day, on a bubbles and chalk meeting day, uh, I'm brewing, so, or we're all brewing. Um, but today, I'm just gonna cook beer, cook beer, drink beer, and cook meat. Katie's gonna be brewing. She's gonna be doing a stout. Um, so she's gonna be, while well, we're pot and piss farting around with, with playing pool and chatting about stuff, um, she's gonna be organizing her grain and um, hops and all that sort of stuff that she needs and she'll be doing, she'll be doing a brew in a bag. Uh, it'll be her first brew in a bag. She has done a stove top before and she's done a few kits, a few kits and kilos. So she's, um, yeah, stepping up to her first brew in a bag, which should be pretty good and there'll be enough, there'll be enough uh, brain trust here today to um, give her much assistance. Um, so yeah, should, should go alright for her. Okay, what else do I have to do? I've got to go to the shop and get some meat. Got to get me some steak. Um, some salad-y stuff. I'll do that after I mop the floor. Um, what else? That's really about it. Probably just keep drinking beer. It's Saturday morning. It's time for beer drinking. Definitely time for beer drinking on Saturday morning. Look, I just bought a beer. Look, whoa. In Australia, we have this really cool system, and um, uh, a YouTuber that I watch, uh, Jez Lawson, did a review on it and likes it. It's the Tap King. Now, I've been in and I've sussed out the Tap King. I've had a look. Uh, in my reckoning, it's a very expensive way to buy your beer, definitely. Um, but still, you know, the novelty's there for people. It's a very junky unit. But, I mean, wow, to have beer on tap out of your fridge, that is an amazing concept for most people. Um, you know, blows me away every time I think about it. Beer on tap, at home. Who would have thunk it, eh? All right, guys. Um, Here's Katie cleaning out the stuff for her brew. Say hello, Katie. Hey. No, hello, Katie. Hi, I'm not talking to myself. Oh, okay. And um, Kez has turned up. Kez has just broken, so we've had a few practice games myself. And Katie's got her bag of grain and she's going to do a beer. A stout today. Keza came with toys. Keza came with a box of these. <laughs> What does? Container. Awesome stuff. Let's put that on YouTube then. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, bloggy thingies for threading and putting in stuff. Really cool. So, it's coming along guys. Alright, we'll uh, update you on Katie's brew ladder. So tell the people what you're doing. What am I doing? You're making beer. <laughs> ah. You got your shit ready. Huh? About to mash in, I'm doing a stout. I've got about five kilos of pale, no, marisada, um, 200 grams of crystal 60, and you've got 150 grams of the chocolate malt. So. Because it gets harder to stir the more it's in there. It'll just be really easy. Temperature when grain was added was 75 or something. So it's a little bit high, but we'll bring it down. Yeah, that's good.
part of the small all grain. It's like breakfast. Yeah. The breakfast of champions. Just add bacon. Okay. Just add bacon. <laughs> well, um, dogfish head did, didn't they? No, Dogfish Head did a bacon, waffles, eggs, heaps of shit. All breakfast stuff. Cereal. Yeah. yeah. They did a breakfast beer. Yeah, those things that you saw there, you don't want. No, that's what I'm trying to get rid of. Yep. Okay, cool. Uh, you're just going to stir that around until it's all good? Yep. Just um, enjoy that. Stirring and stuff, uh, making beer. <laughs> it's recording. Cheers, guys. Tiny here from Off Tap Brewing. Just um, cooking up the onions for the uh, brew day that we're having. Try not to burn them. But, Keza has brought over the Hulk. Uh, now, this is, was it 150, gra 150 uh -huh. grams? That's oh, got to be on me. I 450 take. grams of Cascade. 450 grams of Cascade into 20 litres of wort. 16. 16 litres of wort. Holy shit. <laughs> now, colours ginger, I like that. But, uh, wow, that smells. It smells like I've opened a bottle of Cotty's Cordial. It really does. Like, that is insane. Like, I need to water it down or something. Shit, that's nice. That is good. That just wraps around your tongue and says, here's a blanket of sweetie goodness. But it's not sweet. It's bittering up now. Got alcohol in it. It worked out about 10%. Yeah. Sitting in the cube for about four weeks, it actually grows in gravity for some reason that we cannot work out. That's nice, man. That's um. Very that's, interesting. It's not a it? session beer. <laughs> it's not a session beer at all. Here we go. Cordial. <laughs> it's fucking cordial. <laughs> Mix it with a bit of uh, this, is, and <laughs> this is Adam from Bandit Brewing, and yeah, he's a fancy. <laughs> wow, but no, that's good, man. That's um, yeah, I'm buzzed. It's an inter interesting experiment. That's it. All right, guys. Cheers, Tony. Third beer review. <laughs> Hang on. Let them now. Hello. <laughs> so we've done the mash with. Heated it up to kill the enzymes. We've added extra chocolate malt. Yes, that's right. Since the last video, I did add extra chocolate malt. No, it's still be the same video. And, okay. Since the last take of the video, I added extra chocolate malt. It'll run separately, I like all oh, nice and smooth. Wonderful. Unless you keep telling people that, oh, there's a separate take. Or you just keep talking I over know. the top of my I'm video. I'm trying to help. But you're not. Not really. So, I um, added extra chocolate malt. So I'm up to, I'm from 150, one. I'm up to right. three, 350. I'd go the um, wider one. 350 of chocolate malt. And, uh, and go out there. I added, and I also added um, nearly 300 of Vienna malt. Like a couple of grams under 300 of Vienna malt. So... Now, taking the grains out, and I'm not sparging because we've already like we're doing it like, at volume. Full volume. Full volume. But I'm taking the grains out, and whatever comes out, I'll add in. That's it. Sorry, I had to be there. Cool yeah, stuff. I was going for that one it's yeah, but it's thinner. You just keep pouring it in. Yeah. Mm 
You don't want to upset the tannins. No, so you don't want to squeeze it. No. Think of it like a tea bag. But yeah, let I've it sit. I've added this method. Did a couple of times. Of not squeezing it to making cups of tea. Makes the cups of tea not as bitter. Yeah. Much more enjoyable. That's right. So yeah, just leave that sit. Do that a couple of times. Yep. What needs to happen with that pot? It now needs to go up to boil. So how's it going to do that when it's set at 60 degrees? By turning it up to the other way. The up button. All the way. All the way. Nice way. That's get rammed it. up to boil. Yep. Off get we a go. rolling boil on. And then add the hops. I'm interested to see a hoppy flavoured stout, chocolate stout. Yeah, this isn't going to be your It's not going to be hoppy flavoured, okay. No. This is going to be my stout. Alright. Your hoppy flavoured stout can be your hoppy flavoured stout. Alright. Cool work. You're doing good, darling. You're brewing a beer. Look at all that. There yeah, ain't much more left in there. Nope. Probably a bit. People put these on hoists and things. Mm. Oh no, there's a bit coming out. Alright, uh, we're having it for the boil, blah blah blah. She'll do hops and shit. And then the next video will be drinking it. Maybe. Oh, fermenting and drinking. Finishing it. Oh, finish? Oh, this is finishing. Okay, I was just like closing my eyes and hoping it'll be finished. <laughs> oh, okay. What was your question, Katie? Yeah, but no beer is a session. My question, beer. Simply can't stay. No, your before. question, beer. What was your question, <laughs> beer? <laughs> my question was okay, I'm making my chocolate stout. How do I make it? Like, for me, it's not a session beer. It's just more of a nightcap. I want one or two maybe before I go to bed every now and then. So I don't have the sweetest of sweet tooths, but I do want some, like, I don't want it to be really bitter. Adding cocoa nibs adds more of a cocoa flavor, but it also adds a lot of bitterness. How do I make it so that it's not just really bitter? How do I keep the, the chocolatey sweetness in it? Raspberries and Lots of alcohol. No. Like 12% and raspberries. What's no. your take? <laughs> raspberries and ice cream. Raspberries and ice cream. <laughs> and 12%. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. at 12% you only have one. So I'm economising your trip. <laughs> so where are you up to? What have you decided? Long enough to have one. Where have you... Where, where is it? Um, it's up to the boil. I've started the timer on the boil. Oh, hang on. That's you. Oh, oh hey. you're black. With Hello. like a really white background. <laughs> Fine. Yeah, that's better. No, my f okay. Oh. So, Whoop. Whoop. I've started the boil. It's part way through. I've started the timer for the boil and I'm going to add East Kent Goldings and Fuggles um, at about 10 minutes and flame out. And then... <laughs> what did I say? What did you say? Nothing. I want to see the comments. <laughs> On? The, the hot varieties. <laughs> Shush. I like the names. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, so I'm not going, I've decided not to add a bittering hop to the boil because the grain, the chocolate grain, as well as the cocoa nibs will, in my opinion, should make it bitter enough, so I'm just adding flavour and aroma hops towards the end of the boil. All right. And then. Check in later. And then. And then I don't know. Beer makes you smile. And then. I don't know. And then it tastes really nice at this point. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> it does. Right. It's like you get out ice cream. That'd be awesome. Mm, so, oh, so sweet and chocolatey. <laughs> no worries. <clears throat> yeah, they'll go in there, they ask you nicely. <clears throat> but the guy couldn't fill your gas bottle. What about the other gas bottle? Yeah, it's full. I've got to go and pick it up Monday. Oh. Yeah. Cheap CO2. <whistles> what if we should take the other one to the steel recyclers? I don't know. Don't know what it's made of, man. Steel. Steel. Try and sell it. Try and sell 
On eBay. It is stolen, but... Passing it on, hey. Is that clean? Is it? I don't know, that's a question for you. Yeah, oh yeah, it's clean. When you, um... What, <laughs> no, it doesn't smell like plastic. What does it smell it like? It like hot. Yeah, no, it's clean then. Do you see a hot powder in there? That's clean. Huh. What was that? What did you do, Amanda? Where did you put that remote? Yeah. You can twist it in. Oh, shit. I did that again. <laughs> Look at that guy. He's doing something real funny. Um, what's next? Sorry. Alright, so I've put my hops in, I've done 30 you do a, Is that sterilised, that container? I don't know, you sterilise it? <laughs> yeah, you're about to. <laughs> Alright, see you. See you, see you later. Yeah, it's sterilised, you're about to sterilise it. Take just an hour and 25 minute boil. I'll speak plain English from the start, it's not going to be nice. Okay. Right. So, Enough. I've added my hops. I've done 30 grams of fuggles at about 10 minutes. Um, LCD. 30, 35, oh, 35 grams of fuggles at, at 10 minutes. 30 grams of East Kent Goldings at 5, and then added the rest, which was about 64 grams of fuggles at 5 minutes. Now I'm putting it into the no-chill cube. Have you got your backup vessel? No. Just in case it's more than 20 litres? Nope. I will grab that later. So that's it? That's your that chocolate stout? Yep. Today? Mm -hmm. So far. It smells really nice. It has it smelled that good all day. It does smell very nice. And it's a nice brown chocolatey colour. It looks like chocolate, it does. Wait till the ECN.